Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Fierce Carl Pilsner. So another beer out of the pack. This is our third day and this is, well, it's a Pilsner. It says brewed in accordance with the Rhein Heidskabat of 1516. Uh, once again, a bunch of German, 4.9%. And it's a Pilsner, what can we expect out of this one that we haven't already mm. experienced, right? Noble bitterness and aromas reminiscent of fir and pine. Fir? Okay. F-I-R. Ah. Uh. Accompanied by resinous notes of, resinous notes and a hint of elderflower. <laughs> all right. Okay. That's new. Let's check the aroma on this one and see what it's all about. Hmm. Mm. Mm. It's not as... Again, light. Yeah. Again, very light. I'm getting... I mean, I'm getting the typical Pilsner things. It's just not very forceful or yes. in your face. Uh, it's reserved, I would say. It's very reserved. I can almost taste what... I almost it's, know what it's going to taste like yeah. at this point. Well, you should. Like, with a Pilsner, that's what I look for. Like, you should... It should taste like it smells. Correct. Honestly. Like, there, there's not much in there. Because it's so light right. on the aroma profile that I think it's going to be light. Like, it's going to be lighter than what a Pilsner should be. I think so, too. But it does have a picture of a cool horse on it with a dude riding it. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> Maybe that harkens back to some sort of, like, wartime, you know, something. It says uh, they were, I think they were established in 1690, this brewery. Mm. Schloss Brewery Ellingen. Again, butchering the Germans, so sorry about it. Anyways, let's dive in and just and just go for it, because it's it's very weedy. Yes. That's the main thing that I'm getting, and there's there's not much balance in the hops and the bitterness. It's not very it's not very floral, it's not very bitter, it's um just it's a lot of water, you know? It's a lot of water and a lot of like wheat components. It's like 30% Pilsner. <laughs> <laughs> so far with these beers, they've been much lighter than I've expected them to be. I don't know, if you're gonna give me a Pilsner, I want it to be a heavy hitting Pilsner, you know? I want it to have some flavor to it, some body. But yeah, this one doesn't have that. It's got, it's, it's there if you like, if you like the wheat component, I think this kills it. I think I'd like to see a little bit more hoppy character, a little bit more bitterness um, to bolster and, and balance that wheat and grain aspect that this has. It's yeah. just so heavily grainy that it's almost hard to drink because it's a little cloying in the, in the it's just, I, I don't even know what the, the description would be for that. Just maybe dry. Part of our personal preferences are really influencing the way that we're receiving this beer because I personally like Czech style Pilsners. I as well. So, you know, this- I'm used to that snappiness, yeah. that, that sort of like that really- snap, that bitterness. Bitter, punchy character that, that Saz and, and all those different types of noble hops provide. Overall, I think this is an okay beer. I think it's passable. Yeah. Um, not my personal preference, but I think it's, it's good. It's done in style, obviously. It's um, clean. Um, it's tasty, so long as you're okay with with less on the hop spectrum. And I know a lot of people are. A lot of people don't like like big heavy IPAs, and it's great. That's fine. It doesn't taste bad. It's just it's. It just hit me a in a different movie. way that I expected it to hit yeah. me. I think I think our initial impressions were a little bit too, uh, too quick. Mm -hmm. You gotta have, you gotta spend some time with some of these. I think maybe. Yeah, the more it warms up, it tastes. The more a flavorful bit it's getting. Better. Yeah, it's getting there. Still though. Yeah, very weedy, very weedy. All right, guys, that does it from us. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.